Okay, this video talks about how plants use mineral salts. It turns out that all plants need mineral salts in order to survive. Um, so where do plants get their mineral salts from? Well, animals end up eating plants, um, and the plants have the minerals in them. Okay? And then as the animals eat plants, basically um, they, uh, ha they defecate and they urinate in different places, and that causes the minerals to come out through the feces and the urine and go back into the ground and seep back into the ground. Also, when those animals or those plants die, um, they have minerals inside of them, and the animals and the plants um, basically biodegrade. Biodegradable means that um, these that things can be broken down into simple substances that can then be used again to make new living organisms. So basically, when the animals die, they decompose. Um, um, different microorganisms cause them to decompose. Their their bodies break down, and the minerals that were inside of the dead plants and animals end up going back into the ground and seeping into the ground. Um, once these minerals are in the soil. Um, they basically dissolve in the water. Sorry about that. They basically dissolve into the water within the soil, and then the plants can absorb those minerals up through the water using their roots. So how did scientists figure out that plants need mineral salts? Well, what scientists do is they run experiments. Um, basically, they'll take two different plants, or, or several different sets of plants, and they'll pull one of the types of minerals away from one type of plant and then they'll give the other type of pl other plants all the minerals. So they have two groups. They have group A and group B. Group A, let's say they want to test to see what nitrogen does for a plant. For group A, they'll basically give the plant everything but nitrogen. Okay. For group B, they'll give the plant everything, all the different minerals. And then they let the plants grow and they see what happens. And, and the plants that don't have nitrogen in them, whatever happens to them, they know that the, that is what, they know that the plants need the nitrogen to make whatever they're missing happen. So that's basically how they test to see um, if plants need mineral salts or what different mineral salts do to plants. They have two groups, control group A and control group B, or group A and group B. One group is the control group. They give it everything. The other group, they pull away one of the different mineral salts, and then they see what happens. What are the three main types of mineral salts that plants need? Well, the first type is nitrate salts. Nitrate salts contain the element nitrogen. Um, and they are nitrogen, it turns out, they found is needed for leaf development. Um, plants need nitrogen for the leaves to develop properly. They also need nitrogen for the chlorophyll to develop in the leaves in the chloroplasts. Um, nitrate salts are also needed to make proteins um, that form parts of the structure of the plant. Um, without nitrogen, the leaves end up turning yellow on the plant, and the plant has poor growth. So when the scientists take the two different groups of plants, the one group they give everything to, the other group they pull away the nitrate salts or the nitrogen, and what they've found is the group without the nitrogen has leaves that turn yellow, and the plant doesn't grow as well. Okay, so that's one of the types of minerals that plants need is nitrate salts. Second type of mineral that plants need are phosphate salts. They contain phosphorus, the element phosphorus. Um, it turns out phosphorus is needed for the roots of the plant to develop properly, and it's also used in photosynthesis, a, a little bit in photosynthesis, and in respiration. If you remember, photosynthesis is where plants take light, carbon dioxide, and water, and they make glucose, and they release oxygen. Respiration is where they take that glucose that they've already made and they basically burn it in order to produce energy. So it turns out the plants need phosphate salts for both of those, photosynthesis and respiration. Um, they also need it for the roots. And finally, um, when the, the, two, the scientists took the two group of plants, one group they gave everything to, the other group they took away the phosphate salts, what they noticed is that the plants without the phosphate salts basically had very poor growth. Um, and they had difficulty with photosynthesis and respiration, and they didn't have good roots. The final type of mineral salt that plants need is potassium salts. Um, these salts contain potassium. Potassium is needed in the plant to develop the fruits and the flowers, and we're going to learn later on in this course that fruits and flowers are necessary for reproduction in plants. So potassium salts are actually needed for re um, plant reproduction. The potassium salts, it turns out, also helps the plant make chlorophyll and it gives proteins to the plant so the plant can have good structure. Um, plants that didn't have potassium salts ended up turning, having leaves that turned yellow, 
and they didn't grow properly. They grew abnormally in very weird shapes. Um, an example of potassium salt is basically potassium nitrate. Um, so again, when scientists took two different groups of plants, one group they gave all the mineral salts to, the other group they took away the potassium salts, they found that plants that didn't have potassium had a hard time developing fruits and flowers, they had less chlorophyll, they didn't have a very good structure, and they grew very abnormally. Those are the 